What's up, Westchester University? This is Hoodie Allen, and WCU Weekly starts now. Hello, Westchester University. I'm Colleen Fa, and I'm Angelica Fanuri. Now, you may not know this, but me and Colleen actually hang out outside of the studio, and this too. weekend we were able to go to Mr. WCU. Uh, we did. It was so much great. fun. As always, there were so many great acts, so many great guys. Oh, it was great. It so was creative. So creative. One guy's talent was a uh, musical single chairs. Musical chairs by himself. Very, very different. <laughs> very unique. Um, it was really good. But uh, WC Weekly was there. One of our reporters, his name is Naeem Brown. I got an exclusive interview with the winner. His name is Tyreek. Uh, so you're going to want to check that out. It's going to be featured on our Facebook page. Uh, so if you weren't there, make sure to see it and kind of yeah. get every all the ins and outs. In case you missed it. In case you missed it. Uh, but today we have a full episode. We'll be discussing events going on around campus. And later we will have a special guest to tell you about this year's 10th annual Relay for Life. Oh, yeah. 10 years. Um, Amber Key will be giving us an update in all things WCU tennis. Ashley Williams is going to be telling us about a public geonics. This is a public safety interview. And as always, Lauren Alexander will be giving us our weather update. Kristen Roberts O'Brien is also in the quad office. She got another great interview uh, with Claire, one of the news reporters. Yeah. Packed, packed episode. Always. Well, you're not going to want to miss this Sykes After Dark this Friday because Lonnie Love is back. For those of you who don't know who Lonnie Love is, she's a stand up comedian who has appeared on Ellen. Um, shows as many other shows. So she was wow. actually here, what was it, last semester? Yeah, she so was great. She's, she's returning. I guess she liked us. I guess she did. We liked her. Definitely a fun way as the semester starts to come to a close. As always, if you attend Sykes After Dark, then the SAC movie is free. This weekend, they are showing the movie Selma uh, at 7 30 and 10 30 p.m. in Sykes Theater. Great movie. Yeah. Now, did you know that tuition only covers about 50% of your education and that Westchester University receives about 20% of their funding from the state? Well, WCU Golden Ram Society and the Purple and Gold Club are, work are working to help raise money for WCU to support current students. Money raised will support student emergency scholarships to help students with hardships to be able to stay at Westchester University. Mm -hmm. Now, you can donate and support your fellow classmates at the link below, wcufoundation.org backslash give gold. Yeah, great cause. Uh, this Friday, April 24th, the Earth Club will be holding the fourth annual Earth Fair on the Academic Quad from 11 to 3 p.m. The purpose of this event is to raise awareness about an environmental crisis, highlight and celebrate sustainable living and resilient efforts, and to build a stronger and local community. Look out for the tables highlighting different aspects of sustainability, such as local artisans, sustainable business, and even environmental campaigns. I love this. This is my favorite yeah. event. I remember it all freshman year, sophomore year. It's big. It's huge. It's big. Now, speaking of events happening on Friday, the Gaga Club will be having their last game for the semester, April 24th at 6 p.m. at Grand Slam USA. Now, it's free to all students, so everyone is welcome to come out and play. I've never played Gaga. You know what? I used to play Gaga, but and I'm telling you, it. people wear gloves because you would scrape your hand on the cement. It sounds really intense. But we were real intense. Know, it's real can. fun. Yeah. Okay. Maybe I'll go. <laughs> you should, yeah. People loved it in high school. Uh, now we're going to send things over to Amber Key, who's going to give us a tennis update. Amber? Thanks, Colleen and Angelica. Being a student athlete is not a very easy task. With school, workouts, and traveling, playing a sport in college is a full-time job. Try all of that while being injured. That is what sophomore Amalia Hartman of the women's tennis team had to face earlier this year when she was told what doctors call runner's knee, also known as platella femoral syndrome, Amalia's knee suffered traction, which caused grinding of the ligaments and swelling. This injury took from October to January to recover. What seemed like a tiny pain in her knee at first grew into something more serious. After competing in the individual PSAX, Amalia realized that the tiny pain in her knee was going to take a little more than just ice to fix. During recovery, Amalia took a break from tennis as well as went through physical therapy. Taking it easy was exactly what Hartman from Cleona PA needed to get back on the court. Now playing third doubles for Westchester University's women's tennis team, Amalia and her partner, who are undefeated going into the championships, plan to make the semifinal round. This experience really expresses how important it is for college athletes to take care of their bodies and seek help when needed. What may not seem like a big deal could cost the entire season in the long run, but that did not stop Amalia, who can now play again with her team. The women's tennis team will show us what they're made of when they travel to Bloomsburg University to compete in the PSAC championships. Good luck, Amalia, and the women's tennis team. Well, that's all I have for this week's Sports Short. Let's throw it to Lauren Alexander for the weather. Lauren? Thanks, Amber. The start of our week will definitely feel like spring. We'll see lots of sunshine on Monday with a high near 73. 
Still plenty of sun on Tuesday, but we'll be cooling down to the mid-60s, and it will be a bit breezy too. Clouds build up on Wednesday with a chance of rain late in the day, cooling down even more to the 50s in the second half of the week, with mostly cloudy skies on Thursday. Lots of sunshine on Friday, but still quite cool. Our weekend should be mostly sunny, gradually warming up to the upper 50s on Saturday and the low 60s by Sunday. I'm Lauren Alexander, and that's your weather outlook. Now let's go to Ashley Williams with her interview with Public Safety. Ashley? Thanks, Lauren. Last week, I met up with Director of Public Safety and Chief of Police, Michael Bicking. We had a conversation about the timely warnings on campus, as well as other services that Public Safety offers for students. Let's take a look. As students and faculty, I'm sure, everyone is aware of getting an email entitled Timely Warning, letting us know about any incidents on campus. And in the past, like in the last semester and the semester before, there were kind of a spike in those timely warnings. So as public safety, what have you guys done to change this fact and address all the incidents that have taken place on campus? Well, let me first explain to you how they come to be. Those timely warnings are required by the Federal Clary Act. Um, they are meant to be an opportunity for us to tell the campus when there is a uh, continuing danger to the campus or we believe that a, a crime that has occurred could be a continuing danger to the campus. So that's how they become or get published. That's mm -hmm. how, how they, they get we put the, why we put those out there. A lot of services. We provide a safe walk program, so if you're um, here on campus and you're going to somewhere on campus, uh, you don't feel safe, whether it be after an evening class or whatever the situation, you can call us mm -hmm. and we will walk you to whatever it is, your car or to your next, um, your, your next class or you know, from the library late at night. We provide that service. We, uh, we provide motors to assist service, so if, um, as always happens to my wife, uh, when it rains, she locks the keys in the car, and uh, if you lock your keys in your car, we'll come and we'll get that open for you. We'll work with you to do that, stand by until it gets open if we can't do it. We provide a number of crime prevention programs uh, throughout the year. We also provide alcohol-free programming in um, conjunction with uh, student affairs, mm -hmm. where we take students uh, first come on a first come first serve basis, we take them to a Phillies game or to bowling or to um, the haunted houses in, in October. Uh, and while we have the captive audience on the bus, we talk to them about how uh, you don't need alcohol to have a good time. Mm -hmm. Uh, they've been really successful. We we have always filled up the buses, and, and uh, so that that's one of the things we do. One of the other more important things that is provided to students and, and faculty and staff here on campus is the emergency uh, text alert. Yeah. And if you're not, um, um, if you have not signed up for the emergency text alert, I'd encourage everyone here on campus to do so. Um, typically. The biggest selling point for getting you to do that is to say that you'll get you'll snow get the days. first for <laughs> yeah, yes you get notification for snow days, but in addition, you get alerts when there's a timely warning, um, or if there's an emergency notification. If if we hit a uh, if if construction company here on campus uh, hits a gas main and there's a dangerous situation, we want you to avoid that area. You'll get that text alert in in addition to your email, so. Um, I would encourage everyone to do that. If you go on to any one of the uh, pages at Westchester, there's a little orange button that I believe says alert. Uh, if you push on that, it'll take you right to the, to the site where you can sign up. Okay. Well, thank you so much for joining me today, and it was a pleasure speaking with you. Okay. Thank you very much for having, <laughs> giving me this opportunity. No problem. Back to you guys at the front desk. Hi, I'm Kristen, back in the Quad office with news editor Claire Haggerty. Claire, can you tell me a little bit about what's in the news? Sure. Um, this week we have a really packed issue. Uh, it's a 32-page issue, which is one of the biggest um, this year. Yeah. And uh, the news section is full of articles like uh, about Mr. WCU and uh, Banana Day because this was a big week at WCU. Yeah, what's a fun week? So can you tell me a little bit about what's, uh, what else is in the quad? Sure. Um, I actually wrote an article for the op-ed section about uh, Greek life culture on campus and why it needs to change. 
um, because I think that the responsibility lies with us as students, all of us as students, not just with the Greek organizations. Yeah, I definitely agree. Such a hot topic. So can you tell me a little bit about how you can get involved? Yeah, sure. Um, if you were interested in writing for news, you could email me at quadnews at wcupa.edu. Awesome. Back to the studio. Well, thanks, Kristen. That article on the Greek community is must read. Absolutely. So we're in the studio with Karina. She's a representative from Relay for Life, and her shirt says, ask me about April 25th. Mm -hmm. So what is April 25th? We need to know. <laughs> <laughs> April 25th is when we will be hosting the 10th annual Relay for Life here on Westchester's campus mm -hmm. in Hollinger Gym from noon until midnight. Oh That's my a long God. time period. <laughs> it is, but I know, so a lot of people probably know Relay for Life, right? There's a lot of different organizations that put this together and hosted it. It was at my high school, and now it's here at Westchester. Mm -hmm. But tell me, if you're not familiar with it, what, what is Relay for Life? So, contrary to what some people believe, it is not a running event. Yeah, because I can't run. It God. is, especially for 12 hours. <laughs> yeah, so generally, the rule is you have a team, and people mm -hmm. will walk around the track, one representative from your team at a time. We will have free food, fun games, great DJ, lots of activities for you to partake in. It's really a wonderful event. So if you're not athletic, you can, you can still do it? Absolutely, oh God, absolutely. Because I'm not athletic. Um, that's great. I've actually done Relay for Life through Westchester, and it is awesome. I mean, you're not lying when you say there is food, <laughs> events, lots of things. If you're like not a late night person like me, I promise you can get through it. Mm -hmm. um, and I know you have a lot of people signed up already. Is that correct? Yes, we have almost 500 people signed up. Wow. Okay. Which it's around our usual okay. amount, so okay. we're getting there. We're very yeah. excited, and we have about twenty thousand oh dollars already goodness. raised Thanks for so the American much. Cancer Society. Now, do you have a target donation that you're aiming for? My personal goal is fifty thousand. Okay, let's do so it. Doable. doable, but the ACS would like a minimum of thirty-three thousand. All right, so we're great. Like halfway well, there, pretty much. We're right on track. That's what I like to hear. Uh, so, my last question for you: If you are not involved in Relay for Life, how can you go about making a team and kind of getting registered? Well, you can come see me. My name mm -hmm. is Karina Abel, uh, SSI, uh, our office is in there. And also, uh, you can come to our weekly meetings. Mm -hmm. Our last weekly meeting before the relay is Wednesday at 6 p.m. in Sykes 209. Okay. But you can also go online at www.relayforlife.org <laughs> backslash PA Westchester. Easy awesome. Enough. Easy yeah. enough. Absolutely. Well, thank you so yeah, much for good being luck. here. Good luck thank Saturday. you. Yeah, it sounds really great. Drink your coffee now. <laughs> Drink it now. Um, but that concludes this week's episode of WCU Weekly. If you have anything you'd like to be read on air, be sure to email us at wcuweekly at wcupa.edu. And be sure to follow us on Twitter as well as Facebook to get updated on everything that's happening around campus. And make sure to tweet us at WC Weekly for a chance to be featured on the show. Uh, until next time, I'm Colleen Fox. And I'm Angelica Panori. This is Karina from Relay for Life. Have a great week, Westchester University. And an even better weekend.